Hey FitFam, okay, this is the Defy Yourself Challenge. This is a awesome workout and very challenging, hence why it's called the challenge. One of the ways that I stay in the best shape all year round is by constantly changing up my workouts. And this is a perfect example of breaking out of our normal repetition and resistance patterns. We're so used to grabbing the 10s or the 20s and doing 10 reps or 12 reps. This is a way to kind of blow that out of the water. This is a high volume workout also that we can get in a short amount of time. A lot of high volume workouts take up to 60 to 90 minutes, sometimes even two hours depending on the rest periods. But for this one, there are going to be five exercises. We have an overhead lunge, we have a kettlebell swing, we have a broad jump, you can also modify that with a squat jump or just a squat. Then we have a plank row with a push-up, and then we have dumbbell thrusters. I will give modifications for all one of those exercises, for each one of those exercises. Each one of those is done for 60 seconds, and then you get a 30 second rest. We do those five in a row, then you get one minute off. We do this four times. The cool part about this workout is you are going to record how many you do each round. So after you do your first round of alternating lunges, which right and left equals one, Say you do 20 of them in the entire 60 seconds, you write down 20 for round one. John and I have our style there so we can compete. Just kidding. Because John's actually going to be using a different kind of weight. That's the other thing in this workout. You have two options for resistance. Now, if you're trying to gain more strength, maybe build a little more muscle, I want you to go a little heavier on this workout. So if you are going heavy, going heavy for 60 seconds is a long time. So during that 60 seconds, I want you to do as many repetitions as you can, keyword, safely, okay? So if you're executing these exercises and you need to stop for a couple seconds, stop, and then try to get one or two or three more reps in until the bell rings at 60 seconds, you get 30 seconds of rest, which you're going to need, and then we do the next exercise. Now, if you want to get your heart up rate up a little bit more and a little more of that aerobic zone, I want you to go a little more moderate with weight and try to consistently keep going with strong repetitions for the 60 seconds. So, go get your dumbbell options, get a piece of paper or a dry erase board so you'll be able to write down how many reps you did so you can defy yourself each round, and let's get to work. Open up those 
the back, rise it up. Now I want you to get a big swan dive down. Drop the hips as low as they can go. Thumbs back, squeeze the back, lift it up. Swan dive it, hips down, thumbs back, drive it up. Let's do two more. We have those overhead lunges. So we want to make sure that back is turned on. Awesome guys, let's come to the back of our mat. Let's walk it out to the top of that push-up position. Let's bring that right foot to the outside of that right hand. Let's give me four opens here. One. Drop it. 
broad jumps. Three, two, and one. Little speed skater side to side. Waking up the abductors, the inner and outer thighs.
position, guys. And three, two, one, go.
But now I didn't mean I failed. I was bringing my weight up higher each time. So it's gonna take a little time off, so won't get as many reps in. That's how you go higher. So there you go. So that's the same thing. It's like if you go up and wait in the second round, you might do less reps. If you didn't fail, you just push yourself a little harder. Okay, broad jump, broad jump. Three, two, one, go. Oh, these are great after kettlebell swings. Come towards and be at the same amount, 
Beat it, you go heavier, you go less, try to hang around that number that you had from the previous round. All right, guys, overhead alternating lunges. We go in three, Woo two, and one. And we're pulling that belly button.
not going to lie, my glutes are... You got it. I want to be safe. Safe and sorry. Not that I even think I'm going to hit that one. <laughs>
knees. Let's bring that right foot in front. Let's release the top of that left foot, press it down into the floor. And give me a nice sweep and reach with those arms. Pressing the top of that back foot into the floor. And now I want you to bring the arms in front of you. And I want you to pull and bring that right arm back, just like you're pulling a bow. And then open it in the back. And now place that left hand down on the floor. Tuck the left toes under and lift up that back leg as you reach your right arm up to the ceiling. I know, good stuff. Feel it in those legs. Good, now bring that right arm down. On the inside of that right foot, you can drop that left knee and release the top of that foot. And gently bend the elbows, hug that right knee into that right shoulder. Lowering down as far as you can go. If you go onto the forearms, that's great. But just a nice little lizard stretch. Good, now walking the hands back, heel down, toe up. Stretch out that hamstring. Good, now bring that right foot back. Bring those hips on the heels. Walk the hands out, the child's pose. Do me a favor and just sway the hips side to side. Good, then walk it back to the center. We're going to come up onto our knees. I'm going to 
face forward. John's going to stay turned to the side. So you get a different angle. You're going to curl your toes under, guys. So your heels are up. We're going to do a little bit of a uh, yoga pose camel, but it's called swimming camel. I've never seen a camel swim, so we'll see how this goes. So you're going to start reaching your left hand back towards your left heel. And I want you to sweep your right arm up and over your head. As you lean back, open it up. And now bring your right hand to your right heel and then sweep and swim your left hand. And just alternate side to side. Bring that left hand back to the left heel. Swing the arm. Good. Right hand to right heel. And squeeze the glutes. Going at your pace, side to side. Just opening up that chest, pressing those hips forward. One more each side. Good, really opening up the shoulders. Awesome, now just place the hand on your lower back, fingertips facing down, squeeze the glutes. I want you to imagine your chest is lifting up towards the ceiling and leaning back into those hands, squeeze the glutes forward. If your neck is tight, you don't have to let the head fall back. That chin relaxed. But if you're allowing it today, it feels okay to let the head fall back. And then one vertebra at a time, squeeze the glutes, start to stack up, and then release the feet, press the hips back one more time.